I'll be talking about the benefits of cryptocurrency in this video. You see, in the last couple of years, cryptocurrency has exploded, and for good reason, because we need it. You see, our money system right now is controlled by the Federal Reserve System, a fiat currency system. Some people say good, some people say bad, whatever. Uh, what I want to focus on is the fact that our money is a depreciating value. So the same dollar that you had, say, 10 years ago is probably worth 50 cents today. That's why people put their money in gold. It's not to become rich, it's to keep their wealth. So if they bought $1,000 worth of gold today, that gold might be worth maybe $2,000. Yeah, it's increased some, you know, but it's kept as well. As opposed to, let's say they kept $1,000 cash, What's it worth today? 500, maybe 50% it depreciated the purchasing power. So our money sucks for wealth completely. It's horrible. Uh, second of all, it's controlled through something called quantitative easing. So anytime there's issues within the economic system, they print money on demand. Our inflation rate is quite low right now, or the prime principle is quite low right now, which tells you a lot of issues. So generally speaking, our, our money is very fragile. Let me put it that way. And it's not good to us as the people. What cryptocurrency does, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Monero, Dash, all these other coins, it gives us a secondary choice and it actually so solves a problem of inflation. It solves a problem of us actually doing business globally through our own consensus. So the first time ever, you, what you literally need is a phone and you can have Bitcoin and Ethereum, you can send that around the world. So I'm going to show you something. Um, so see this, you know, I just put like eight bucks in this. So I have a wallet, okay? I have $8 in this worth of Bitcoin. If you give me your Bitcoin ad address, which at the end of this video, I want you guys to put your address. I want to send people Bitcoin, okay? Or, or Ethereum, either or address. You know, if you give me your Bitcoin address, I can send you money and you can receive it pretty instantaneously. Not super instantaneously right now because there is some scaling issue, but with Ethereum, you can send it within 10 minutes, you have coin. So the benefits of cryptocurrency is this. I'm gonna list out the benefits. Number one, you own your own money. The, there is no bank. This is the bank right here. You can you can buy Bitcoin and Ethereum, you can keep it on your phone, you can literally keep it on a piece of paper, you can keep it on a USB card, you can keep it all over the place, it really doesn't matter. You are your own bank and it's much more secure that way. Number two, this is really important. You can transfer that money any single time you want, wherever you want, without anybody telling you you can't do business with that country or that person due to geopolitical belief systems or religious belief system or, or, or trade agreements, etc. Okay, that's really important. So for the first time ever, now I can send money to say Hong Kong, as opposed to me doing a wire transfer that cost me what, $75, wait a couple of days, that guy just needs to send me his Bitcoin or Ethereum address and within like less than an hour, he has Bitcoin or Ethereum and it costs me less than a couple of penny as opposed to paying $75 going through a SWIFT system. You see the benefits over here? Number three, it gives us, and this is the most important above all, you know, yeah, the technology is amazing and revolutionary, but above all, it gives us choice. It gives us option. So let's say our currency starts devaluing today. Let, let, great example, Venezuela. Venezuela through their socialist uh, reforms, have bankrupted Venezuela. The Venezuelan people are in, in, in other hor horrible conditions that I wish upon nobody. But now, you know, with cryptocurrency, I can help people in Venezuela. I tell them, all you need is internet connection, here's a phone, and get your, any, any Bitcoin, Ethereum wallet, it doesn't matter, it takes two seconds, they're free, and I can send you Bitcoin, and they can use it together. They don't need to depend on the government currency, they don't need to depend on the Federal Reserve System there. They create their own economy, and what's great about cryptocurrency, and people are doing it on a day-to-day -day basis, is you can create your own. You know, Ethereum was created as own, it's world's first uh, cryptocurrency crowdfund, $18 million in roughly 42 days. You have all these different currency popping out, any single day and what is currency currency is just trust in the future the only reason you and i use the us or the canadian currency is because we believe that this currency has value tomorrow because an authority tells us well with a blockchain type of cryptocurrency we are the authority because we give consensus we are voting by using a platform and therefore by us using a platform we validate the fact that we give consensus that we all agree upon that this is going to have value tomorrow that's pretty much it through our own consensus and what's really amazing with this blockchain uh, technology that Satoshi Nakamoto made is for the first time ever with cryptocurrency, when people ask like, what is it? Well, before, before this, there was nothing stopping me from sending, say, $5 of digital money to Lisa Michael Paul. Nothing stopping me from then copying, pasting that code and sending that to all different other people. There's no value to code. Satoshi saw that, okay? So he was able to add intrinsic value to code. Now, if I sent out that code of $5, 
I don't have it anymore and the whole network sees that. So if that other guy sends out that $5 that I gave him, he doesn't have it anymore. Hence what Satoshi solved was, hey, now code has value. And that's why we have cryptocurrency. Code has intrinsic value that no one can duplicate or manipulate. Or as Vitalik Buterin states, the blockchain solves a problem of manipulation. People can't manipulate that cryptocurrency. So I think cryptocurrency has come at the right time and Bitcoin came uh, roughly around the 2008 uh, crash, perfect timing. And right now more developers than ever are coming into the space and more opportunities are, are, are happening on a day-to-day -day basis for people around the world. Here's something to think about. WikiLeaks would not be around if it wasn't for Bitcoin. It wouldn't be around. Every single financial institution, Visa, MasterCard, all those guys in the banks shut down any transfer to WikiLeaks. And it, and, it, and it was when WikiLeaks decided to take Bitcoin that they stayed afloat. They're alive today because of cryptocurrency. And it's wonderful, you know, there's so many people that can benefit from this, that we can actually take power back to our own hands. So what I want you to do this, I'm not gonna go crazy tangent over here, is like get any wallet you want. I reckon Jax is great, J-A-X-X.io, Bread Wallet for uh, Bitcoin, then you have, yeah, there's a bunch of them, but Jax and Bread Wallet is good. I like Jax because it's both uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then what I want you guys to do is put your Bitcoin or Ethereum address in the comments below and I'll send you maybe a buck or two of Bitcoin. I'm gonna be doing this every video. I want everyone more to get involved in the cryptocurrency space. If you have any questions about this, uh, head over to BlockGeeks, B-L-O-C-K-G-E-E-K-S. That's our educational hub. So anything you need information about cryptocurrency is there. And if you have any questions either than that, leave a comment below, peace.